Okay, here is what happened. I have not done this before, and it apparently is not a good idea at all. I'm still going to be able to salvage something from this, but I'll have to cut off that whole ruffle. So this um, idea of only putting the, um, the roving vertical this way to create a ruffle, obviously it creates a nice ruffle because this shrinks in this way. Um, but this did not felt to itself at all. It's a complete mess. So I'm actually going to trim this right along this line, which was the edge. And then that will just be the collar. All of this down here is fine because the cut ends of the, the locks were all frayed out. And it actually is what the fiber could felt to. So, um, as for that project... I probably shouldn't have put it in my washer. My washer is a mess right now with uh, all of this in there. But um, I'll go through and I'll I'll save it. I mean, I'll do something with it. And it'll still have a ruffle on this end. I'll just have to trim right along that. And then maybe I'll have to needle felt or something to um, keep that. Tight. And I'm going to have to wrap and wrap and get this all flat and nice and neat. And I'll probably do a bit of needle felting on that also. But um, I guess that's sort of what happens when you experiment is you take the chance that it's not going to work out. But what I was doing the whole thing for in the beginning anyways was just to show how I use locks. And um, I mean these are definitely not going anywhere. So, I'll go through again with these and give them each a little tug and get them free. And I'm I'm not super gentle with these because I kind of want them to be a little rough. I wasn't exactly going for real soft and sweet curls. If I'm trying to get really nice curls and I'm using um, good locks that are more bouncy, then I handle them um, much more carefully and... Um, take more time to to make sure that they don't they don't get messed up but these I, I wanted to be a little rough Those little fuzzies in here we'll just tuck those out um, so I, I like this I think that these are pretty I love the dark green with these bright greens on it so uh, I guess that's the end of the tutorial I, I um, like I said I did put it in the washer um, so, I have a top load washer with no agitator, so it doesn't really, it usually isn't a problem. But this, once I cut it, I might still have to um, felt that a little bit, but I'll probably do that with needles just because I think this scarf has had enough. But I'll try and get um, as smooth a texture as I can and just keep stretching it and playing with it until it, it feels and looks as good as possible. All right, so that's, I guess that's the the best tutor, tutorial I can make today. Um, I hope it answered some of the questions. Thanks for watching. Bye.